Do you want to learn a new language easily? Maybe you've learned with tools like Babel or Duolingo. Well, now you can throw those tools away. Or can you? I don't know. We're going to find out today while we try to use ChatGPT to help us learn a new language. So let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so this idea actually comes from It's Paul AI. So that's his handle on Twitter. So it's a Twitter thread that he did, absolutely brilliant. Follow him anyway for all AI stuff on Twitter. So if you're a fan of Twitter uh, and you're on there, it's a great place to find the people who are into the AI stuff uh, and crypto stuff if you're into that as well. Uh, but anyway, I digress. So Paul is the, uh, the one who came up with this. Now this is the prompt that he uses and we're gonna try this today to see if this works, okay? So uh, I think it's a great idea. Act as a spoken Spanish teacher and improver. In this case, I've chosen in Spanish. Incidentally, this is the prompt that he came up with and I will copy this and I will put this in the description of the video below. So all you have to do is copy and paste it into chat GPT and you'll be good to go. So let's uh, uh, dissect the prompt a little bit. I will speak to you in Spanish, obviously my chosen language, and you will reply to me in Spanish so I can practice my spoken Spanish. Translate your answers into English to help me only if I ask you. Uh, now that's a great thing because that means that it will only speak in Spanish so therefore you get to learn a bit quicker. I want you to keep your reply neat, limiting the reply to 100 words or less. That's great for learning, obviously. Point out and correct all the spelling, grammar, and other mistakes I make. This is the most important thing. So therefore, we want them to point out the mistakes so that, that way we learn from it. And when you reply, ask me a question also to carry on the conversation. Now, this is a fantastic idea uh, from Paul, and that is basically that it's going to ask you a question after every question you answer, and therefore you keep the conversation going, which means that depending on how much time you've set aside for learning the language, you can literally just type your answer into ChatGPT, and then it will automatically carry on the conversation for 20 30 minutes whatever it is you want by asking you different questions that you can learn in the process so now let's start the practice ask me the first question right in the Spanish language so we've told it all of its thing oh we also said your question should always be in Spanish and you should only use English to explain my mistakes okay so let's go over to chat GPT so here is ChatGPT. Uh, if you haven't been to it before, then I will leave the details in the comments below. You just literally click on it, sign up with a Google account, and you're ready to go. Now, uh, this is just the free version of it. So in this case, I don't think you need the paid version because anything up to 2021, the language is gonna be the same more or less, so therefore it'll be fine, uh, depending on what you wanna learn. But in this case, let's go send a message. So all we do is we copy and we paste that details into ChatGTP, and then we hit uh, GPT even. Okay, here we go. Hola, claro, estoy aquí para ayudarte en práctica tu español para empezar. ¿Cómo estás hoy? Uh, cuéntame un poco sobre tu día. So basically you're saying, how are you today? Uh, tell me something a little bit about your day. Now, incidentally, if you're worried that the question is a little bit too difficult, then you could simply simplify it by saying something like, uh, make the question simpler. Question simpler, but remember only ask in Spanish because the thing is if you don't write that then oh, well let's try and let's let's see make the question simpler okay let's see if it asks me in Spanish or in English let's have a look oh no there you go so therefore it asked me in uh, Spanish ready to go hola como estas hoy uh, cuéntame como ha sido tu día so basically it's asking how's your day etc etc so therefore you can say uh, mi día es muy, muy bien or whatever you want to say doesn't matter the point is that um, you're trying to learn a new language so therefore you can say even simpler if you want to or you can say more complicated when you get better at it etc etc so this is a way that you can learn to uh, to type and to be able to, you know, check your spelling essentially, because if it says, uh, let's let's see if it will check my spelling. Remember, it's supposed to. So make the question about hola, cómo estás? Uh, estoy. Let's put estoy. Mi bien. I'll put that. Okay. So I put it really badly. So let's see what it says. Will it correct what I've written? So let's see. Uh, solo una corrección, un lugar. So, see, there you go. See, now here's the weird thing. Even though you said to um, to correct it in English, it's actually correcting it in Spanish. So in this case, look, it says here, point out and correct all conjunctions, spelling, grammar, and other mistakes. This is the most important thing. When you reply, ask me a question in the conversation. Uh, your question should always be in Spanish and you should only use English to explain my mistakes. So in this case, you wanted them to explain the mistakes in English. So you might have to re-prompt it here and say, explain the mistake in English, please. But oh, that, that'll be fine. We'll just do that. 
So explain the mistake in English. So the mistake in your sentence was me instead of moi. And we knew that anyway. I did that on purpose. Uh, moi is very. Uh, so instead saying estoy mi bien should be estoy muy bien, which translates to I am very well. Uh, keep up the good work. Now you can tell me something interesting about your day. Um, now, see, here's the thing. It's, it's now asking you to tell you something interesting. So then you would say something in Spanish. Um, uh, it's muy, uh, no, hace, hace calor, for example, let's say. Okay, now here's the thing that it did do, is that, again, uh, it basically is starting to tell me in English. So, uh, do you have a favorite activity or strategy to stay cool? So it's asking me now in English rather than in Spanish. Now you could, if you wanted to, just keep this because at the end of the day, you're still practicing your Spanish by doing it, but that's not really what you want to do. So you want to ask it again, ask me uh, the question in Spanish always. So you're basically messing with the prompt as you go along by the looks of it, because uh, there you go. See, now it's asking you the question in Spanish. Okay, so now it's all very well learning the spelling and the grammar when you're typing, but what's great is if you can learn to speak as well. So therefore, that's where this comes into play. So the first thing you need to do is go over and install Talk to Chat GPT. I will leave the details in the comments below, and you just install it on your Chrome as a Chrome um, uh uh, extension and then you've got this little box that pops up every time you use chat GPT now you can see there's a little microphone button there there's the uh, button there and then you've also got this thing here which is your settings now one thing is that I found through messing around and getting some really weird answers back is that you have to set the language that you're trying to learn to the language and speech setting. So in this case, the speech recognition language is Espanol because I'm trying to learn Spanish and the AI voice and language we have to change to Spanish as well because otherwise if you change it to English, it just won't come out very well at all, okay? So make sure you save those settings and click on save. Now, if you're worried that your microphone isn't working, a couple of times it doesn't work for me so I just have to refresh the page. But if you're not sure if your microphone is working and all that sort of stuff, firstly, you have to go down the bottom here and you have to make sure you click on your um, on the little icon there right click on it and go to sound settings and make sure that the microphone is connected to your computer and it's working try other things to make sure it's working and I'm not going to teach you how to suck eggs on that one and then once you've done that you can also go over here and there's actually a github page if we click on there you can see there's the entire github page that tells you any problems that's coming up and just here the speak recognition test page if you click on that it actually opens up a page just here you can click on this microphone up here you can start speaking and check if it is detected it or not but anyway I digress so let's go back over to chat GPT so therefore we will save that as Espanol and Espanol we've got our first thing up now this automatically comes up when it's red it means the microphone is listening when it's green it means it's talking so in this case it's about to listen as soon as I unclip that microphone and I'm gonna answer back so uh, estoy aquí para ayudarte a practicar tu español como te llamas y donde eres uh, so I'm gonna say uh, my name is Ian, uh, and I live in Estados Unidos. We'll say that, which is uh, United States. Okay, here we go. Hola, me llamo Ian, y vivo en Estados Unidos. Hola, me llamo Ian. Mucho gusto en conocerte. ¿Cuánto tiempo llevas estudiando español? Uh, no mucho, uh, dos años. Eso es genial. Bien. Dos años de estudio ya es un buen tiempo. ¿Qué te motivó a aprender español? Porque mi esposa es español. Entiendo. Es maravilloso aprender el idioma de tu esposa. Has tenido la oportunidad de practicar español con ella y su familia. So there you are, as you can see, it's absolutely brilliant. And when you get it set up properly, you can actually have a two-way conversation with chat GPT. Uh, in fact, is it good enough to throw away your Duolingos and your Babels and all that kind of stuff? 
Eh, probably not because of the fact that even though you've got this conversation going the great thing about those things is they also allow you to practice your grammar and it's repetition 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 but this is a great way to be able to speak to somebody even though it's just an AI and be able to practice your Spanish in a ordinary setting and just adding this to your repertoire of learning the language will really help in the future Thanks very much for watching and I hope you enjoy all of the video. If you do, then make sure to hit that thumbs up button so that I know you've enjoyed this video. Thanks very much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.